This video is the first of a two-part apartment makeover series, where I'll be tackling the home office and storage closet. The unit itself is a newly built 2 bed 2 bath apartment based out of Sydney's North Shore. It has a total internal area of 75 square meters and a 10 meter square balcony for a total of 85 square meters. The clients initially reached out to me while they were still renting an older apartment unit that requires a few major refresh and storage options. Before starting the project, I outlined the project brief, one of which includes the client's request for a workspace and an additional area for a sewing machine. They also wish to maximize storage space to store textbooks, extra sewing materials, shoes, and other household items. The storage closet in the new unit is fairly basic, with 5 levels of open shelving which requires further organization to be efficient and functional. To ensure that everything will properly fit into the space, I sketch a quick floor plan with all the major furniture pieces. Instead of going with the default floor plan, we decided to do an L-shaped corner desk in order to maximize the space for a standard work setup and a place for sewing. We went with two IKEA tabletops in a white stained oak effect, which will later be connected with a couple of mending plates. This allowed us to keep the cost down and allocate the budget for other parts of the home. For the legs, I got the adult's legs in white, which goes straight into the pre-drilled hole under the tabletop. Once the legs are installed, simply press the two desks against each other to form an L shape and pre-drill a couple of holes for the mending plates. I got two of these zinc plated mending plates along with a pack of chipboard screws to provide better grip on particle boards. Before flipping the desk, I also installed a cable trunk to house all the power supplies and keep the workspace free of cable clutter. To store craft and sewing materials, I got the white Alex drawers on wheels, which is placed underneath the L corner and gives the desk a custom floating look. Above the desk, I installed two picture ledges instead of shelves to avoid blocking the natural light while still allowing space to place books and some plants. I also installed them in a slight offset manner to add a bit more visual interest. Since I'm installing them into a plaster board, I got this wall made anchors which can hold up to 10 kilograms. It also has a flush finish and can easily be removed without losing the anchor. To maximize storage even further, I got a white pegboard to be attached on the other side of the wall, allowing easy access to stationaries while keeping it somewhat out of sight. Installation is pretty straightforward and took less than 10 minutes to complete. Simply use a spirit level in order to save time and make sure they came out straight. The final step is dealing with cable management. Apart from the cable trunk underneath the tabletop, I also got a couple of cable raceways to neatly route the cables across the desk. It came with a double-sided adhesive for easy installation under or behind the desk. I installed three under the desk to allow all the cables to run neatly into the outlet on the center trunk. Before moving on to finalize the workspace, I tackled the storage closet just beside the desk. The lack of drawers and dividers meant that it is not as functional despite its fairly generous size. It measures roughly 140cm wide, 43cm deep, and 43cm high on each level. To maximize the storage space, I got various organization products, from shoe boxes, baskets, all the way to stackable drawers. 
We cleared out the storage one level at a time, starting with all the shoes on the bottom two levels. On the middle level, I reserve half the space for stackable drawers to access frequently used items such as medicines and face masks. The other half is used for general office archiving, with two stackable linen box for all documents that need to be kept around. The second to top level are mainly used to store extra household items such as cleaning cloths, paper towels, and other supplies. The uppermost level are reserved for things that is not used as often, such as disposable tablewares and other things that the clients don't need frequent access to. Finally, I also utilize the door frame and installed this command broom holder to keep the closet clutter free while having the mop easily accessible. The last step is to add some decor to give life to the space. I displayed a few of the client's book collection around the desk area and added a couple of small plants on the picture ledge and windowsill. To light up the desk, we got this mushroom table lamp in dark green to contrast the surrounding light oak color. The short side of the desk is a sewing area, with a sewing machine and printer sitting in the corner. The packboard above is a convenient way to store stationery and art supplies for easy access, while the floating gap under the desk is a great way to store sewing mats. For the main desk setup, the client uses a laptop and monitor, which will be revealed in the final apartment tour, along with a custom artwork above it. With everything completed, let's take a quick look of some before and after of the space. What was previously an empty corner and this functional storage closet have been transformed into a multi-function workspace and storage closet. And that is a quick tour of the home office and storage closet. Over the next few weeks, I'll reveal the rest of the apartment, including all the design and material choices. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.